Hi, welcome to the AEC Bar. Uh, I'm Lee Mullin, and I'm here with Chris Palmer from Faro. Hi. Hi. And uh, we, you know, we're here today doing a bit of laser scanning around Sheffield Hallam University at their Institute of Arts, uh, which we're going to be doing a project for later in the year. Um, so this is a Faro laser scanner. Can yep. you tell us a little bit more about laser scanning and where you find it being used? Yeah, so generally, yeah, this is an S350 laser scanner. So basically, we've been scanning through the building did some scans outside, um, obviously to try and document the structure and the floor plan of the building to be used uh, for an upcoming event. Um, so laser scanning generally um, used vastly uh, quite diverse range of applications throughout the AEC industry. Uh, people like contractors using it for uh, concrete floor flatness, uh, beam positioning, things like that. And the verification of Verification, yeah, really. But also designers using it for, for, for as-built data capture, mm. uh, production of existing uh, big models, uh, things like that. So yeah, quite a diverse range of applications. Also now moving into uh, mobile scanning, quite quite a lot at Faro. We are also uh, now pushing mobile scanning. Um, and that's kind of where you've got scanners maybe on top of cars. Exactly. Those yeah. Kind of things. So that might be used for uh, infrastructure project. If you want to scan a highway, some bridges, things like that. Maybe use it something like for works or something. Oh, great. Um, so, you know, when we talk about laser scans, uh, I mean, you mentioned there that use for design. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the one of the kind of big advantages of using something like this, you know, we've we've seen over the years has been the fact that you take one laser scan and you can take multiple measurements from it as yeah. often as you want. You don't have to keep coming back out onto yeah. site. Um, that combined with, you know, we've seen like huge drops in the price of the hardware and yeah. the software that's capable of managing these. Yeah. So what have you kind of seen as changes in the industry as the kinds of people that are using these? Yeah, like you say, the price of the actual units themselves and the technologies dropped quite dramatically. Um, I would say from going over ten, 10 years ago, maybe over the £100,000 mm. uh, to now around about twenty to £40,000. Um, so it's a lot more accessible. So we're finding um, sort of everybody can use them from surveyors, architects, uh, people who just want to get a few scans rather than the traditional surveyors who want to scan for a living. Yeah. Um, so people using them in their sort of integrating into them into their day to day sort of working practices mm. rather than doing it for a living and scanning for a living. So it's um, it, it's becoming a lot more popular. Yeah. Um, and like you mentioned there about the software integration. Also, with computers getting a lot faster um, and the data formats getting a lot, lot easier to use, mm. uh, we're we'll finding people are able to actually get more benefit and get more um, use from the scan data yeah. um, in their standard packages that they use in the day to day basis. Yeah, no, definitely. And you know, what, one of the things that you know, I think we've talked about a few times is um, the use of tools like Recap. Yep. So, you know, yourself and the other manufacturers all have your own registration software. Okay, yep, yep. Um, but there's also registration available with Recap, and we we see that as our kind of gateway into the various products, Navisworks and yep. Revit and AutoCAD and Inventor and all those kind of different tools. Um, are you finding that deliver deliverables are changing for surveyors through to architects of getting into those kind of formats? If you want to get into the Autodesk sort of RCP format, I mean, mm. most most vendors can transfer the data into that into that platform. We can export in RCP format directly. From our software, so people can take the data directly in to Revit, Navisworks, whatever they want to do. Um, or obviously you've got Recap as a sort of gateway, like you say, to do some clean up and some editing of the, of the point cloud as well. Um, but yeah, the format itself has been very useful in terms of um, allowing people to visualise the data. Mm. Um, and also with a, with a lot of people owning a copy of Recap, um, or so maybe it's designers or people like that owning a copy of Recap anyway, um, it's worked out quite a good format for people to pick up and run with, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, people who don't maybe have our software for the registration, but they may have a copy of Recap installed in the design suite, yeah. so they can take an RCP file as a deliverable and, and use it somehow. And use it yeah. pretty, pretty much. Somewhere. And, you know, I think w one of the things that I see quite a bit is particularly surveyors, you know, they, they want to use the tools that come with the hardware. Yeah. Um, but the fact they can get into a format which other people downstream can use yeah. is very helpful. invaluable. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, quite a few questions. I'm sure there's more. Um, so if you ha do have any questions, uh, if you just want to email vacbar at autodesk.com uh, and hopefully we'll uh, hear some more questions and then we'll get Chris back in if you've got any. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.